Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Beth Ann and today I am doing a quick video on my short TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon, which is running next week starting June 6th through June 12th. Um, so I will link down below um, the announcement videos and TBRs for the two organizers, Rogan and Kathy. Um, I've been following Rogan's channel for um, a while actually, but Kathy is new to me. And even though I've known about the Queer Lit Readathon, this is the first time that I'm joining in. Um, and this does not just run during Pride Month. They do it a couple different times a year um, to make sure people are reading Queer Lit, not just during Pride Month. Um, so this is round number seven. Um, and I'll also link to the uh, Twitter account for the Queer Lit Readathon below as well. If you're a Twitter user, um, you should definitely go interact with that too. Um, so there is a bingo board, which I will put up here. Um, and uh, I'm not going to make bingo, but my choices would fit. My, my choices kind of hit a lot of these bingo categories, um, but I wanted to prioritize things that I was already planning to read instead of acquiring new books. So I have one book that's been on my bookshelf for a while and one book that I've had out from the library for a while and need to read and give back to the library so other people can enjoy it. So anyway, I have three books. Um, it's also, since it's only a one week readathon, you know, some people have like 10 books. I can't do that. Um, so I am committing to at least starting these books during the readathon. I do not think I will finish all three. Two of them are romances, so I might read them really quickly, but then the third is actually a nonfiction book. So there's no way I'm gonna finish all three in the week. Anyway, without further ado, here are the books. So first up is one that I have on my Kindle, so I will put a picture up, and this is American Fairy Tale by Adriana Herrera, and I read the first book in her Dreamer series um, just a couple weeks ago in May, so I will link to my Friday Reads video where I do a bit of a review of that, and I absolutely loved it. That's the one... Um, yeah, I talked about it. Uh, the, the two main characters who fall in love, one of them owns a food truck. He's Dominican and his food truck is Afro-Caribbean food representing um, islands uh, and nations from the Greater Antilles um, in the Caribbean. And then the other uh, pair, the other person in that pair is Jude, who um, is a public librarian and um, is the youth services librarian and is starting a mobile library truck to serve uh, rural youth in upstate New York and they fall in love and it's amazing. Um, so I wanted to continue with that series because um, the first main character, Nesto, grew up with a really close-knit group of friends. Um, I think many if not all of whom are queer. I think there's four of them total and so we have a series that follows each of those men. Um, and so the next one is about Camilo, who was a great side character in the first book. He's, uh, he's a little bit dramatic. Um, uh, he sort of gets in people's faces, you know, with his friends. It's, you know, it's all with, with love, but he's, he's a bit more of sort of a confrontational character in the book. Um, and, uh, and so this, yeah, this next book, American Fairy Tale, focuses on his love story. So he is, now I'm forgetting his profession, um, but he's, he's sort of like a social worker, an activist um, sort of person, I believe. And um, he's going to fall in love with a wealthy donor for the agency that he works for. Um, so I'm excited to hear about that. Um, it's, a, it's an MLM romance about two men. Um, and then the next romance that I want to read is the one I've had from the library for a while. This is written in the stars by Alexandria Belfleur. And I think I heard about this on booktube, but I do, I did not write down whose channel I heard about it on, um, which I feel a little bad for doing, but this is a, a pretty new book. It came out last year. Um, and it follows two characters, uh, Darcy and Elle who go on a terrible first date. Um, but then for various reasons, uh, they sort of decide to keep up the charade and sort of pretend that it went well. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I think that it does morph into love, but two very, very different people um, who, who find love. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the last book that I have on my Queer Lit Readathon TBR has been on my bookshelf um, for a year or so now, and this is the nonfiction one. Uh, this is called Queer Palestine and the Empire of Critique. Um, Kind of a complicated title, but I think I'm going to be able to uh, understand the book. Um, so I've looked at it a little bit. Uh, so this is by Dr. Saed Atshan, who is a professor at my alma mater. Um, and I know him a little bit. He wasn't a professor when I went there. He's he's a pretty young professor. Um, but we serve on a committee together and stuff. And so I wanted to read his work, find out more about him. Um, 
And so this is following the Palestinian LGBTQ social movement, uh, I think both in Palestine, but also um, sort of globally among Palestinians that no longer live in um, Palestine. And it's going to be sort of the... Um, uh, so let's just see. So um, Atshan asks how transnational social movements can balance their work for liberation along more than one axis. He explores critical junctures in the history of Palestinian LGBTQ activism, revealing the queer Palestinian spirit of agency, defiance, and creativity in the face of daunting pressures and forces working to constrict it. Um, so this sounds really cool. I was a Peace and Conflict Studies uh, honors minor in college, um, and he's now a professor in that department at my college, and so this will just be a nice um, brain exercise dipping back into a nonfiction book like this. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Also, look at this gorgeous cover. I love the covers. So those are my three picks for the Queer Lit Readathon round seven, and um, now that I'm committing to it, um, I'm looking forward to future rounds of the Queer Lit Queer Lit Readathon. I think this is this is great. Um, so I hope uh, if you're watching this video, if you didn't already know about the readathon, I hope you're inspired to join in, even just with one book. Um, it's Pride Month, and there's also other LGBTQIA challenges going around. So I hope you're doing at least something um, in one of those. But also, uh, everyone should be reading queer literature around the year, just like uh, just like everything else. So um, with that, I will sign off, and uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.